Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. I had a request from Jules in the Wire Makers Club for some help making some infinity signs. So for this project, you're going to use 20 or 18 gauge wire, round pliers, flush cutters, and flat pliers. I have a steel block and a couple of hammers, and I also have the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. So we are going to start with 20 gauge wire. I'm using my larger round nose pliers and I am going to start at a certain position in the pliers depending on how big you want the infinity sign and I'm going to just do one little curve to make a teardrop shape. Now it really depends on how wide you want the uh, infinity signs to be. I am just going to go at sort of a medium size and I'm going to turn the other side at the same position on the pliers. And you'll see it makes this infinity sign. You want that to be a straight line across there. Now I'm using the Zuron flush cutters. Use the flat side to cut the wire so it will sit flat against the middle wire. And we're going to flip it around and then we're going to cut it flush on the other side. Make sure you have some really good quality flush cutters to do this so it'll be nice and straight. And then you use your flat pliers just to push it down so it's flat. So we're just going to push the wires together so it's nice and flat. You could pinch them in a little bit if they got a little distorted. So there's your infinity sign. And now I'll do one with the 18 gauge wire. I'm actually already cut the end flush and I'm going to work from the end so I don't waste any wire. So we're just going to roll it around to make our teardrop shape. Adjust it as you need, straighten the wire. And then on the other side, we're going to make sure it's in the same position and wind the wire around to make that infinity sign. And you'll see it's even on both sides with that straight line. You can adjust it a bit if you need and then cut that little end flush. So once you've cut it, you're going to pinch it with the flat pliers so the ends are together and then you can go right ahead and cut the end flush. Keep working from the same wire so you don't waste any and do the next infinity sign. Just make sure you cut that end flush before you do this method of the infinity sign so the first wire will sit snugly against the middle wire. So there we go. These can be made quite quickly once you get the hang of it. Just like I said, use good quality flush cutters to get a nice straight edge. And then you can push it down. And there's another little infinity sign. You can make a whole chain with them. Now, you can also make it with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. Just put two of the smallest size pegs beside each other. Sort of put the wire in on a diagonal. Bring the wire down on one side and then up on the other side and then you want to keep turning it around and you'll see you have the start of the infinity sign and then you can bring it up to the top and then put that one wire on an angle but then you're going to have to flip it to do the other side and keep it towards the top of the pegs so you'll be able to hop over that peg to make the wire go on a diagonal. So now you have that infinity shape. With the jig, at least you know it's they're all going to be exactly the same size. And you see that line goes straight across. And then you cut it with the flush cutters. So we're just going to cut it right in there so it'll sit flush, flip it, and cut the other one so it's nice and flush and then we can get our flat pliers to push the wires down. So now we are going to start with the chasing hammer and I also have a rawhide hammer. This is the beetle on chasing hammer and we are just going to give it a few taps 
to harden it up a little bit and also it can flatten it a little bit if you want it more flat. So we have the first one and then we can also use the rawhide mallet if you don't want it as flat. Just tap it a little bit to harden it up. So there we go, easy. You just need that steel block. You can get all these on Amazon. And then we have our nice little link with the infinity sign that is nice and strong. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.